Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Monday, May 16th of 2022. It's brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, do the 50 stars and 13 bars bring up feelings of patriotism to you? What if it's not a product? There are many who are sticklers for the U.S. flag code and believe the stars and stripes should only be on the flag. So it appears Budweiser might be stirring the pot again for some as they announce their summer Freedom cans are coming out. Freedom will replace where you normally see Budweiser on the cans, and they're decked out in the red, white, and blue and stars and stripes. You may recall that Budweiser did a similar thing back in 2016, but they used the word America on the beer. Do you see this as controversial, or is it bold and confident as AB and Bev wants you to believe? Let me know your thoughts, and you can read more about the beer at the link that is in the show notes. And it looks like the time has come for the Spencer Abbey in Massachusetts, a certified Trappist brewery. The monks have announced the brewery, which opened in 2014, will be closing after more than a year of consultation and reflection. The monks had hoped the brewery would be able to support the Abbey more than it has, though it did fund some improvement projects and was one of the main revenue streams. Apparently, it just was costly to run. The beers are still available in retail outlets, but supplies will be going fast. You can check out the link for more in the show notes. And the espresso martini is so 2021, so what is the new it drink of 2022 shaping up to be? Well, it looks like the Dirty Shirley might be the one. It's being ordered everywhere from fancy bars to Olive Garden, and apparently a recent video showing how to make it racked up over 6.4 million views and probably growing right now. It's not a tricky drink either as it's super simple to make. You only need ice, vodka, grenadine, lemon lime soda, and a maraschino cherry, of course, to put on the top. By the way, you can make it without the vodka if you have a kid or want a non-alcoholic drink and want to make it a Shirley Temple. Personally, the only time I've had one was when my kids wouldn't drink it, but I have added vodka to them in the past when that happened. Uh, is it a serious drink or more of a soccer mom spritzer only? Summer will tell, apparently. Uh, would you drink this? Let me know and head to the story for more in the show notes. Uh, again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>